Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have a brand new cheesecake recipe for you guys and I'll be making my white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. This cheesecake is so incredibly delicious. It's rich and smooth and dotted with fresh raspberries. We're gonna start with a simple graham cracker crust, make that white chocolate raspberry cheesecake batter and once this cheesecake is baked and chilled, we're going to garnish it with even more raspberries. I love this cheesecake for the holiday season but really it's great any time of the year. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this incredible dessert. And for today's recipe, I'll be using a nine inch spring form pan and I'll be using a water bath method to bake the cheesecake. So I've already wrapped the bottom of my spring form pan with some foil. I like to use extra wide foil and then I use two sheets of it just to make sure that no water seeps into the crust. So now let's get started with that graham cracker crust. I'm going to place 10 graham crackers into my food processor. And I'm going to pulse the cookies for a few minutes until fine crumbs form. Next, I'll pour in a quarter cup of melted unsalted butter. And then pulse this for a few seconds until the crumbs are well coated. And then transfer the crumbs into the spring form pan. And I like to use a potato masher to press the crumbs evenly into the bottom of the pan. You want to have a really firm and even crust. And now that we have the crust done, we can get started on that white chocolate cheesecake batter. So today I'm going to be using four eight ounce bricks. So that's 32 ounces total of softened cream cheese. I'm going to drop it into my mixing bowl. And the secret to making a really great cheesecake is to mix this cream cheese all on its own for a good eight to 10 minutes on medium to high speed until it's really creamy and smooth. And the last brick of cream cheese going in. I'm going to start mixing the cream cheese with my flat paddle attachment. And then once I start adding the rest of my ingredients, I like to switch over to the whisk because it just makes the cream cheese batter really creamy. And then I recommend stopping the mixer every minute or so and then grab your spatula and scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl to ensure that every little bit of cream cheese is creamy and smooth. And now I'm ready to add my next ingredients. I'm going to add in four large eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of sour cream, and I like to use full fat sour cream for the best taste. I'm going to turn on my mixer to medium speed and mix this for about three to four minutes, stopping every minute to scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl. Next, I'll add in one cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of melted white chocolate chips. I did this in the microwave. I just set the power level to 50% and then I stir it every 30 seconds until that chocolate is melted and smooth. And you wanna add the chocolate while it's still warm. Don't allow it to cool, otherwise it can form little clumps in your cheesecake batter. Give this a whisk for about 30 seconds. I'm going to give my mixer one last scrape down, make sure everything is incorporated, then I'll mix it for another 30 seconds and the batter will be all ready to go. And this cheesecake batter is so creamy and smooth. I absolutely love the texture of this batter. We have just one last thing to add and that's our raspberries. I'm going to add in two cups of fresh raspberries. You can also use frozen ones, just make sure to thaw them in advance and then gently fold in the raspberries. And then pour that cheesecake batter over the prepared graham cracker crust. This looks so good already. And I'm going to use an offset spatula to level off the top of this cheesecake. And then for the water bath, I've transferred the cheesecake onto a large baking pan and I'm going to fill it up with some water. And this will help prevent the cheesecake from cracking on the top and it'll give it a really nice and level top. And my cheesecake is ready for the oven. I have mine preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and it's going to bake at that temperature for two hours. Once it's done baking, the center will be just slightly wobbly and then the sides will be more firmly set. What I like to do once it's done baking is to turn off the oven and then just prop the oven door open with a wooden spoon by just a few inches and let the cheesecake slowly cool for a couple hours, come down to room temperature. Once it's cooled, I'm going to place it into the refrigerator and let it chill overnight and we'll come back tomorrow to garnish it with some more fresh raspberries on the top. 
And while my cheesecake is cooling overnight, it's the perfect time to prepare a simple raspberry sauce. I have three cups of frozen berries in my pot. You can use fresh or frozen for this recipe. I'm going to add in half a cup of white granulated sugar. Going to combine these raspberries and sugar together and then heat them over medium heat until a nice sauce forms. And once the berries come up to simmer, I usually let them cook for about five to six minutes until the berries fall apart completely and then you should have a really nice jam form. I'm going to pour the raspberry jam into a fine mesh strainer that's arranged over a mixing bowl. And I'm going to use my spatula to press the sauce through the strainer, leaving the seeds behind. And this is the beautiful raspberry sauce that forms after you press all the sauce out of the seeds. I also love to serve this cheesecake with some whipped cream on the side, so I've measured out one and a half cups of heavy cream, and I'm going to add in half a cup of confectioner's sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'm going to use my hand mixer to whisk this for about three to five minutes until stiff peaks form. And my cheesecake has chilled overnight and now it's time to garnish the top. I have my raspberry sauce done, my whipped cream, I have some more fresh raspberries I'm going to add onto the top. The first thing you wanna do is release the spring form. I'm gonna do that gently. That cheesecake turned out so perfect. To move the cheesecake over, I'm first going to slide a flat spatula all the way around to make sure that the cheesecake isn't stuck to the pan anywhere. And you can see it's already moving quite freely. I'm gonna grab a little flat spatula to help support the cake. And you wanna do this quickly. You wanna just lift the cheesecake off the pan and onto the cake stand. And I'm going to pour some of my prepared raspberry sauce over the top and then just use a spoon to spread it evenly to the edges. And you can reserve some of it for serving. I love to add a little extra on the side. And now I'm going to start adding my fresh raspberries in the center. I'm going to add a really light dusting of confectioner sugar on top and garnish with a few fresh mint leaves. And now let's cut into this stunning cheesecake to see what it looks like on the inside. And I can't wait. I love the addition of the whole raspberries. And check this out. Isn't that one stunning slice of a white chocolate raspberry cheesecake? It looks so pretty with the whole raspberries on the inside there. We have the raspberry sauce on top. This is going to taste so phenomenal. I'm going to add a little bit of extra raspberry sauce on the top. And I'm going to pipe a nice generous amount of some whipped cream on the side. And that's it for my white chocolate or raspberry cheesecake. I absolutely love how it turned out. It looks so pretty, especially with the raspberries and the raspberry sauce on top. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down the video description box. I have a link there that'll take you over to my website so you can print this recipe off and share it with your family and friends. And now time to dig in and enjoy. This looks so incredibly delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is so, so good. This cheesecake is ridiculously delicious. You guys are going to love it from the very first bite. It is so rich and velvety smooth and creamy and I absolutely love the addition of the tart raspberries in the cheesecake batter and then the fresh raspberries and the raspberry sauce on top. 
This combination, the white chocolate cheesecake with the tart raspberries is heavenly. So incredibly delicious. It's going to be perfect for the holiday season, and really any time of the year when you want a really, really delicious cheesecake. And I love the whipped cream on the side. It's really light and fluffy, and it's the perfect complement to the rich and creamy cheesecake. If you guys are looking for an incredible dessert recipe to enjoy, this is it. Don't forget to head on down the video description box for the full recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this cheesecake at home as much as I do.